I'm not sure, but maybe it's the first time in the history for Chile that uh, those wines are presented together. They usually are presented uh, alongside, but now this uh, global, fantastic presentation of uh, icon wines for Chile. I'm very optimistic about Chile in a way that I'm not about some other countries because I think the uh, people have their heads on straight, the, the economy is very stable, uh, they're making long-term investments, it's not a short-term fix. These are really the icon ones. These are the these are the this is these are the flagship wines. And uh, in my tasting of them today, I felt that all of these wines had had a long, long aging curve. So I think that um, you know we're going to continue to see this type of um, class and quality coming out of Chile at the at the upper tier. And when you taste it, it's big and it's luscious, but it's also got some old world structure to it. And this kind of you know, it's like hemispheres. It satisfies both the right half and the left half. And it's hard for wine to do that. Most wines are either too technical or just dumb. So pleasurable that it almost insults your intelligence. This operates on both hemispheres, and that's why I love it so much.